All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, basically, I'm just going to make this video real quick. It's about how to convert your ISO files to ISO. Wow, ISO to ISO. That makes sense. ISO to eBoot. eBoot files are the PBP files that you see inside your PSP that games are recognized as. Now, on PSP Flash installed custom firmwares, which is like custom firmware, even permanent custom firmwares. Some ISO and CSO files have been freezing or crashing the PSP system having you to boot up your light custom firmware again or reboot your device. This should be a fix to that problem. I'm going to take this Alien vs Predator Requiem PSP ISO and convert it to ISO um, convert it to eBoot. So what you're going to do is download this file the ISO to eBoot version 2 and double click on that and open it up. You're going to run the program program is going to come up right here <clears throat> and you should see a temp file appear on your desktop <clears throat> now note any CSO files DAX files or JSO files convert to ISO first so what you're going to do now is type in the directory of the alien vs predator or whatever ISO or you have so what you're going to do is simply type this C colon C colon forward slash make sure it's that forward slash the one that's going this way not that way so um, C forward slash and you're gonna write capital D E S K T O P and then write a forward slash again and then the name of your ISO which you can just copy and paste it make sure all the spaces and hyphens are applied and then after it write dot ISO in lowercase letters after it. Then what you're going to do is hit convert ISO to eBoots. Just click on that. And you're going to wait for it to patch the file and you should see a PSP folder show up on your desktop now. Now wait for that patch to finish. Takes a little while, but I'm just going to sit it through because it doesn't take that long. So while that's doing that, I'm going to boot up my PSP here, and I have a PSP Go, and I'm going to open up my Remote Joy to show to you that this actually, well, actually, I'll open up Remote Joy later. <clears throat> Congratulations, all done. So now you can exit this program. Now you're going to notice that the temp file disappears once you exit the program, and all your command prompts should close if you actually notice that down in your menu bar. The ISO folder is where your Alien vs Predator ISO will go, the original file, which is a backup. You can just delete that now. And if you open up the PSP folder, you will see the game folder. And inside an Alien vs Predator Requiem PSP folder, and inside that is your eBoot. After the eBoot has been created, leave this open as this, as you see the Alien vs Predator Requiem PSP. Now what you're going to do is simply connect your USB to your PSP system. So I'm going to do that now. We are connected. <clears throat> Continue without scanning, please. Now go to Start and your computer. Locate your removable drive, open up the PSP folder, and open up your game folder. And what you're going to do is drag and drop the Alien vs. Predator, again, whatever the name of your ISO was. Drag and drop that folder containing the eBoot you have just created to the PSP game folder. And allow that to copy over. This may take a little while depending on the size of your eBoot. Now again, this will work with all custom firmwares 6.20, 6.35, 6.39, and 6.60 custom firmwares. Also, um, I haven't tested the eBoot files on official firmware yet and I'm going to do that for you and I'm gonna make a uh, kind of a third person video with a camera. Uh, if it does work I'll, I'll make the proof for you. But um, just waiting for this to boot up now. Well not boot up but load into the HDD. Oh, good time to stretch. Oh boy, I'm tired. It's like one in the morning and I'm going ape shit on these videos. Your five seconds is up.
Okay, so now that that's copied over, you can exit everything out. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to reset my VSH. And now I'm going to pop up the Remote Joy so you can see what's going on on the PSP. I'm going to drag and drop this over. Plug this in like so. Yeah, it works. All right, so I'm going to go to the game folder, and you're going to see the game. Alien vs. Predator Requiem. What I'm going to do now is start the game. <clears throat> Let my game boot run so I can do whatever. The fuck happened there? Game cannot be started. Ooh. If that doesn't work, try different drivers. So I'm going to go and hit select right here. See how I have my different drivers. Uh, M33 didn't work, so I have Sony and uh, the Go driver. So I'm going to keep the Sony one on for now. Hit select. Go to the game and start the game up again. See what happens. Watch me have the one ISO that doesn't work. <laughs> or one of the ones that don't work with it. No, nah, this one's not going to work either. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, one more to try, and that's the go driver. Take three, third time's a charm. And it's a white screen. Well, oh, this is a fucking failure. Just for ha-has, let's reset the device. I'm gonna go on to official firmware. My device has been reset. Maybe fourth time will be a charge. I don't or a charm. I don't know. Enter this. And the game is still located. Holy fuck! Why is it in Japanese? No, that didn't work either. Alright. So it didn't work. Some may work, some may not. That's what I'm guessing. But that's how you... Wow. That's how you convert them to eBoot. Not necessarily meaning they're going to work. Maybe you'll have a better chance at using it through um, PS1 ISOs. So you don't have to use Pops Loader. You can just read them and use the... PSX emulation through the PSP with the eBoot file, but uh, I'm good to delete this game because, yeah. So that was a failed attempt, but I'm still gonna post this video. I still will leave a description below. Use your desktop, like I said in this video. It'll make it a lot easier if you want to attempt this. It's kind of a beta thing, so. Uh, not guaranteed to work, but it will work sometimes. I just happened to pick one that didn't work. If it does work, eventually, I'll make a video on my successfully converted eBoot and how I did it. But the link will be below, so rate, comment, subscribe. Probably going to get a lot of dislikes on this video, but I don't care. It's here for your benefit. So uh, if you get it working, let me know.